On this Memorial Day, as we honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice, WCCO celebrates a group of Carver County veterans. They took a trip to Washington, D.C. and stepped back in time to experience the war memorials built in their honor. 166 Vietnam and Korean veterans made the trip. It was organized by the Waconi Alliance, who wanted them to get the homecoming they never had when they returned from battle. WCCO's Res Chapman, a Gulf War veteran, made the trip with them. It's not easy living with the memories of war. He was a buddy of mine that I knew before I went into high school and was killed in combat. I poured two pints of blood into him. He died on a helicopter going back. But for this group of Korean and Vietnam combat vets, and we have Anthony. A trip to Washington, D.C. is a chance to honor their buddies who didn't make it home and a kind of therapy for what still haunts them. Too young, for one thing, 20, 19 years old, way too young to go. They boarded the plane like they did 50 years ago, with uncertainty and fear. Once on board, they slowly became a unit, each having its own reason for making this pilgrimage. Silence swept over the bus as we made our way through Arlington Cemetery. The somber mood continued as we watched the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The presentation of colors and the sound of taps. This journey takes them back to a time when service to country was everything. A time when losing a buddy in combat was like losing a part of yourself. It never felt as real when we came to the black granite wall covered with names. Dwayne found his younger brother. He was going over his eyes coming back. We never really had time together. Time has never fully healed the wounds of war. Your brothers before? Yep. 48E55. Most work together to find the names of buddies they've carried in their hearts and minds all these years. Who are you looking for? Uh, Walden Short. A name that proves their time together was not a dream. There was no closures. There was no ceremony. It was just one day they were here and next day they weren't. A name once touched cast a reflection on the wall of self, an image that puts them side by side once again. For some, this moment is surreal. There's nothing to say. This, this guy shouldn't be here. He should be my buddy. We should go out tonight and have a beer. This is closure for most, transferring a name from black granite to white paper. Henry Martin, he's on line seven. For Steve, these names represent how close he came to death. He says he will never forget as he watched a reconning plane from Da Nang, damaged with engines out, try to land. He hit an Air Force barracks, and 23 in the front were all killed. The search for closure was interrupted by presentations of gratitude. High school students on a field trip made sure to acknowledge the sacrifice of these war heroes, a gesture that helped prepare them for the memories that were about to invade like never before. They all passed on one day in 1969. I got home just a month before them. So I was lucky I wasn't with them. The trip back to Minnesota found men who were changed. They started as individuals on personal missions, now returning a band of brothers truly connected. While the stories of the trip began to form on board the plane, the bus ride home would birth tales of a parade enough to make grown men cry. Well, it's something we never had years ago, and it's just great. Can't even put it in words. Hundreds lined the main drag in Waconia to give these veterans the hero's welcome they deserved years ago. They got off the bus into the arms of their loved ones, proud of their service and even more proud of the journey they just completed. Rich Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. We've posted this story on our WCCO Facebook page. We invite you to share a comment. We'll make sure to pass on your messages to the Waconia veterans.